Hi guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how I got this for half price. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to another Seb Shirts video. And today, as I said in the intro, I'm going to be showing you guys how I managed to pick up a brand new 2022-2023 shirt, brand new with tags. This is also the heat dry, closest to the player version you can get in the stores for less than half price. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let me get you into the nitty gritty shall we yeah let's uh let's get on with it and if you guys are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button every click helps it's free and yeah please hit that like button as well it really helps the channel out cheers and let's get straight into the video and yeah um i managed to get this shirt for around half price under half price depending if you factor in the shipping it was around 52 pounds i'll show up on screen um where I got it and how much it was cost and yeah I got this for less than what it costs for the regular shop replica one you get it's full direct for say for like 65 quid I got this one player version whatever you want to call it it's the the one that's around 100 pounds from Andy Daz and in sports direct and yeah I got this for a uh, half price essentially so basically um, if we make some context here I don't usually buy my shirts for the new season from Sports Direct. I think it's always best to wait it out a little bit for some to crop up on eBay, Vinted, Depop, whatever. That's where I got mine from because people tend to order stuff not fit or they end up can't return it or whatever. Um, that's where I tend to pluck it because you always get it a lot cheaper. I do it every year. I never buy it full price. I just don't think it's worth it. Granted, always a bonus from sports directors. You always know it's authentic, and you can get it often get free printing when you go in store. They always they regularly do promos like that. But as long as you know what you're doing online, um, it's quite easy to spot. So, for example, the thing to avoid for sure is anything that says if there's brand new shirts up there for this season, and a person's got like loads of them don't go near it and they'll especially if they're all like 25 30 quid don't touch it with a barge pole they just order it off aliexpress and they're just reselling them so yeah avoid those at all costs also another thing to avoid is anyone selling the brand new shirts and the tag says adidas jersey 100 percent of the time these are fake brand new with tag shirts as you can see on screen uh they always have the club usually on there pretty much 90% of the time some really obscure uh, league shirts sometimes don't um, but yeah especially with, if you're looking at the Premier League shirts which is what this video is about you always check those tags first another good tip is also if you found one online it's like cheap like 40 quid and the, the tags aren't on there the person taking them off and saying they can't return them just always ask for that authenticity code I do have a video on my channel of how to check if a shirt's authentic but just for this case just for this video always ask for that code in adidas shirts like this one for example up in the collar here there is an adidas code that's around five six digits long nike one's always under the wash tag underneath at the bottom of the shirt and always have the size and then the code underneath as well and watch out for pen marks if there's pen marks on it that's usually a sign of fake because they usually don't have fake factories so yeah always always avoid uh shirts like that as well um so yeah i think for you guys if you don't want to spend all that money especially for sports especially because it's usually 100 quid um avoid avoid the main retailers like jd and sports direct always wait out online always just go on ebay it's obviously going to take you longer because you're waiting for someone to buy it and then maybe double take or they can't return it and that's what you're relying on but around this time of year there's always because everyone rushes out to get the new shirt and sometimes it doesn't fit them or whatever you can always pick up a bargain online uh, especially when it gets nearer to december where the shit they're on they're starting to get on sale anyway but yeah my biggest tip is check online on other retailers first i'm going to throw out the pictures on screen again of the shirt it was brand new with tags when i got it but i did wear it before i made it i'm obviously wearing it now because uh, I went on holiday to Portugal. That's another, I'll plug myself, future video, the next video, hopefully. I know I've been saying it a lot. Will it be another Seb Shirts video? I know there will be one Seb Shirts video. Of course it's a Seb Shirts video. Um, there'll be another shopping video, football shirt hunting, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, that will be the next one up on the, I, I promise this time. I've said this like four videos in a row, but I will. It's just been, this one's been a long process and I'm trying to make the videos as good quality as possible. Like um, I'm spending as much effort I can on the videos now. Try, just trying to take it up a notch really. Just trying to make it as good for me and you guys. Uh, so it's taken a lot longer to edit that video and it's going to be a very long one because it's football shirt hunting in Portugal edition and I managed to get quite a lot of stuff. So yeah, stick around when you want to see that guys. Um, that will be up soon. It should be up later this week. Just making a quicker video now. Um, just to let you know how I've managed to get this shirt and um, how you can get that shirt. Um, yeah, so overall, guys, just don't try and refrain. But always, if you're going to shop online, there are risks. But as long as you follow those tips, you'll get a legit one. Always ask if if there is no pictures of tags order thing order inner codes just ask for them because if they are real then the person is not going to have an issue showing you um, but if they're fake then the person is probably not going to want to show you so always do that just make sure because they are going to come from i've i've been regularly buying each arsenal share decision for about f four or five years now and i always buy mine online rather than from source selects because it saves me so much money like like as i reiterate again this cost me 50 pounds basically and it's a hundred pound shirt i got this for less than the retail standard fan shirt and yeah so always wait a bit longer and yeah so for example guys i'm going to show you right now what i'm on ebay uh i've basically just typed in arsenal and yeah let's uh let's see what pops up shall we and yeah we're going to buy it now and then we're going to go to newly listed because that's where the best bargains usually come up um, and as you can see I'm on my phone sorry about that bit at the bar in there scrolling past some no, not from this year keep going down there's a lot of fakes here especially if you look at these avoid these at all costs for sure but yeah just scrolling down and here found authentic version right here about 30 seconds 50 pounds cheaper in store uh, than in store and yeah so I was just looking for about 30 seconds and I found one these ones are a good example of ones to avoid they're just saying replica in there clearly not real he's saying it's you need to get a size down so yeah perfect example of another one to avoid but yeah we're only looking on there for about 30 seconds and i found one that's cheaper granted this one's not as cheap it's 50 pounds but it's still cheaper than 65 pounds you pay in sports direct so thank you guys for watching i hope you did enjoy it and once again this this tip is for every single shirt you want really not just this brand new but this is obviously the one I bought being an Arsenal fan so I just thought I'll let you guys know that I got managed to pick this up and for a lot cheaper than on Sports Direct and you guys can too and yeah once again thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one peace out